Every year, the Star of the North tournament is held in Grand Rapids. It has fierce competition for multiple levels of youth hockey, but this weekend was for Bantam AA. Although there were many contenders and top-ranked teams from across Minnesota and North Dakota, one team stood above the rest. East Grand Forks would take home the number one spot. The team typically competes in the single A category, but decided to go above and beyond to take on double A teams for a change. The team is the reigning single A state champion from last year and has a lot of returners, which has given them the number one ranking in Bantam single A throughout most of the year. The team won four of five games in the tournament, only losing one in overtime. Although they have a lot of talented players, it was still a tough task to get to the championship game and then to also win it. It was a fun weekend. It's our first time in Grand Rapids at this tournament and we're excited about it. So uh, to come out and win four out of five, pretty exciting. I think we were the only Class A team here. So pretty special not only to be that and then to win it. So a fun weekend. It was good. It was fun. Grand Rapids is a good area and it was good with the boys and the hotels and stuff like that and watching games. It was fun. One thing that was apparent was the team's energy and drive on the ice right away in the 5-2 first place win over the Fargo Freeze. Quite frankly, we've actually had a lot of slow starts lately and, and we've been on the boys to, to get over that and they did a really good job. Uh, after the prior late game, we sent a little message and they got it. It was good. We've had a lot of slow starts this year and kind of coming off fast was good and then finishing strong, obviously. It's a good comeback and it's a good win for the boys. The game had plenty of opportunities for both Fargo and East Grand Forks, and Cooper told us a few things that worked well for the team and some things they're working on. I think the um, good thing was that we were trying to get good screens in front of the net, you know, a lot of points, uh, shots from the D, and just screen. We had a nice tip there at the end from Barnson. That's pretty much what the focus was, trying to get to the net, get some shots. I think a weakness was a lot of penalties. That wasn't the greatest. You know, that's been a focus all year, just trying to stay out of the box, but that was probably the worst thing, just the penalties, but overall it was a good game, it was a good win. Speaking of penalties, that was one of the things that could have been a game changer. East Grand Forks had quite a few minor penalties and even a five minute major, but it didn't seem to phase them too much. It's a combination, we work on it, but we also, uh, we have smart kids and, and they work hard, so unfortunately we take a lot of penalties, so we're a pretty good penalty killing team, we're working on that. You know what? Uh, we did a good job of weathering the storm because that, that could have been a big turning point in the game with, uh, you know, especially uh, probably our best penalty killer or one of our best penalty killers and it left the game. So uh, the boys sucked it up, did a good job. East Grand Forks is still currently ranked number one in the state in Bantam single A and they are a force to be reckoned with. Watch out for their energy, their aggressive penalty kill and their hard work in front of the net. This team is definitely going to make another run for the state title this year. If you enjoyed this story, make sure to like and subscribe to The Rink Live on YouTube and turn on notifications for whenever we post new content. Reporting for The Rink Live, I'm Sydney Wolf.